I had an interesting question the other day and I wanted to make a video to answer it. The question was about stretching and the person asked me if stretching is bad and if stretching makes the pain worse and doesn't fix performance pain or lower back pain, why are you sharing stretches on your YouTube or programs? Because I do have uh, many videos where I share gentle stretches for the lower back and also for the performance. First of all, if you do have performance syndrome or you're suffering from chronic lower back pain, you probably know by now that stretching alone doesn't fix the pain. Like that's just something that we learn through our own personal trial and error. We realize that no matter how much we are stretching, the muscles are just gonna get tight shortly after because we become so addicted to that relief that short-term relief that stretching provides however that's not to say that i don't stretch that's not to say that stretching doesn't have a part in the recovery in the plan so stretching alone doesn't fix the pain because it's not going to fix weak muscles like if there is a muscle that's not firing up if your glutes are weak if your core is weak if you are um, doing if you're doing exercises with bad form if you're compensating what is stretching going to do in fact it can make the pain worse by lengthening those weak muscles more and then your hips are lacking more stability your lower back actually needs some stiffness the lumbar spine needs some stiffness and tightness so you just keep stretching weakening the muscles and not really adding any stability so that's where stretching is an issue for me However, when you are doing strengthening exercises and identifying this, the tight, short muscle that do need stretching, then stretching is fine. You can definitely incorporate it into your plan. I definitely do gentle stretches for the hip flexors, the psoas. There are muscles that get really tight and do need to be maintained through stretching because we do sit a lot, we do drive a lot. So it's natural for those, for those muscles to tighten up every day. You stretch them today and then they're going to be tight tomorrow. It's very normal, you know, for, for those muscles to, because they have an inclination to get tight. So keep that in mind. But the problem is when we do performance stretches, for example, and the pain doesn't go away and we just keep stretching the muscle over and over and over. The other thing also, you'll notice that all the stretches that I share are very gentle and I choose very specific stretches that don't put the spine into hyperflexion or overextension because you want to keep in mind that some people may have a disc herniation or disc bulge. I also had an L5 S1 disc herniation, so I do understand the risks. And so when you, when you have a disc bulge or a disc herniation, it depending on where, depending on the direction that bulge is facing, you don't want to be stretching and putting, pushing that disc further out. So you want to actually create stiffness around the spine to stabilize and protect the spine. So all the, stre the stretches that I like to do are very gentle and I don't like to put the spine into that hyperflexion. So I don't like to do the toe reach, uh, the toe touch uh, stretches or anything where like the high cobra where you're pressing up with your arms. So I hope this clarifies this uh, question because, again, I'm not saying to never stretch, but you want to be smart about it. You want to use specific stretches that are safe, that target specific muscles that get tight, and also be aware of your own weaknesses and what you need to be strengthening.